guys, I'm Jen, and for those of you who don't know, I have a 10-month-old son who I've been teaching sign to since he was about four months old. So the two signs that I have been able to teach him and that I practice the most are more and all done. So those are the two that you'll see in this video. A little bit about my professional background. I'm a board certified behavior analyst and prior to my son being born, I implemented ABA therapy for kids on the autism spectrum. So ABA is the science of learning and behavior. So with that, I was able to learn a great deal about communication. Two of the signs that I was able to teach my clients were more and all done. This helped a lot in therapy just because kiddos want more of something or they want to be all done with something. And of course, there are many other signs that you can teach your baby. But again, more and all done will be the two that we'll focus on in this video. So a little disclaimer, I'm not saying that this is ABA therapy and I'm not saying that this is speech therapy. This is just me as a mom showing you how I taught my son um, two of these signs. So here are four tips for teaching your baby sign language. The first one is motivation. So your child has to be motivated to want to sign. They have to want to want more of what you're offering, whether it's food, a toy, or a game, or an activity. And also, they have to want to be all done with something. If your child is really engaged in something, this would not be the time to teach all done. The second tip is that if you're teaching this during mealtime, or even if you're teaching this with an activity, control the environment. So what I mean is, if you're teaching with food, don't let the baby have access to all the food in front of them. Make sure to give them one piece at a time of the food or one spoonful at a time or whatever you're letting them eat. Um, the same with activities. So um, don't let them have access to whatever it is they want more of. Let's say bubbles. Don't let them um, get the whole container. You control it and have them sign more. The third tip that I have is that if your baby is not fully capable of doing the correct form of the sign. So for example, my son is not able to do this for more. He does this for more, which right now I'm accepting that because I understand that he doesn't have the fine motor skills to do that quite yet. If your child is doing this or this or this or something similar to that, accept it. And the same for all done. If they're not doing this and they're doing something like this or just like this, accept that they'll get there eventually. So that brings me to my next tip if your child is able to copy what you're doing then don't physically guide their hands to do the sign so what i mean is that if you do this and your child is able to immediately copy what you're doing then there's no need for you to physically grab them but you'll see a little bit more of that coming up in the video again be patient with your kids they're just learning um, you're probably just learning as well please let me know if you have any questions or comments or if you want me to clarify something that you saw in the video i hope you guys enjoy it okay so I've already given my son um, a bit of these little puffs that melt um, in his mouth. Um, I know that he really enjoys them. Um, so right now I'm gonna teach you how to sign or have him sign for more. Um, and this would be the very first step. So I would show him more and say it and then more. Yeah, more. And you would do that at the beginning um, of teaching this again. Um, I physically showed him how to do it. Um, eventually, you won't have to do that. So um, you can repeat that a couple of times um, a week when you're first starting out. Um, it might take some kiddos longer than others. Um, eventually, wow. I was able to say more and then just kind of guide his hands together not so much of the physical more and you'll see right there that he's doing this which is not the sign for more um but it, he's almost there he just doesn't have the capability of doing this just yet um, but he will get there um more 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 puffs. Good job. Um, so right there, um, you saw that he didn't do it. Um, so I tried it again and I had to um, imitate it or have him imitate me. Um, and that might happen sometimes. Um, just keep trying. They're just learning um, and they'll eventually get it. 
Okay, we're all done. Um, I can tell right now he's pretty much done eating. Um, he's eaten quite a few puffs. Um, I want him to eat some real food, so I'll just um, show you how to start with all done. Um, so I'll face him and make sure the baby's looking at you and you'll say, all done, all done, yeah. And then you would immediately remove the food or whatever it is that you're doing. Um, and then eventually you can say all done, um, and they'll, um, do it back without you having to physically guide their hands and show them how to do that, um, do it. Uh, my son doesn't quite turn his hands yet. He doesn't have the skill to do that. Um, so his all done kind of looks like this. Um, but I'm accepting that right now. Again, he's still learning and he doesn't have the capability of turning his hands like that yet. Um, so remember to be patient with your babies. Again, they're just learning.